another I want to say I always want to say episode I don't know why but episode if it is boy we ain't got no about two episodes a season <laughs> I know, right? so. don't talk about us too bad welcome to another episode of the Humes Empire the whole Empire is not here legend is on vacation with his grandparents but hubby and I we are headed to Dene on Blanc and so um that's why i got on all white but babe he gonna put his clothes on when he gets there because we have a few places to stop i don't know why i'm struggling to speak today we have a few places to stop and so he's gotta jump in and out the car so it's best to not even chance your white rubbing you know rubbing against anything or anything like that so we're on the way to longhorn right now to pick up our dinner because Danae en blanc you do have to either bring your food or order it with them and so baby we gonna bring our own food yeah. i was gonna cook but it was just too much yeah, we, it was too much we was able to forecast that there probably wouldn't be time time conducive exactly. a long time ago but exactly for those of you who are, are trying to figure out what are they saying the neon blanc is basically like an all-white elegant picnic mm -hmm. they have they host them in I feel like not every city, but almost every city. Almost every major city, I feel so, like that, yeah. And then it originated in Paris. So this is a Paris event. Um, so you have to bring your own table, your own chairs, your own decorations for your table. Now they do have options where you can buy tickets to do so Ooh. for them to be able to provide it for you. But when we bought our tickets, that option was sold out. Yeah. So guess what? We got to bring our own stuff. And... Um, don't don't mind the band and I, i'm not all the way ready i still gotta put my lashes on i gotta put my earrings on so y'all gonna see the whole thing come together when we get out the car but for now let's get our food from longhorn got our order now it's time to get to the event so y'all we made it by the hairs on our chinny chin chin we made it but we waiting outside right now the traffic was a hot stinky booty mess and it's cold, y'all. See, got, got his chest meat eye. Right. cold with the blankets. So we're just out here waiting on our group. So we were actually supposed to meet up with our group. But here's the thing. We got to the event before we got to the group. So I just called the group leader and was like, hey, we're just going to wait on you at the entrance. We're not supposed to know where it is, but it's clear as, it's clear as day where it is. It's at, the, it's at the stadium, at the Georgia State Stadium. So... Zoned out, yeah. <laughs> so, like she said, man, that traffic was a fool. Like, um, we literally got out of like it was nasty of traffic, and it's all uh, because of everybody that's coming to the events. I don't think they, well, I've never we've we've never been before, so I'm not gonna say they didn't think about traffic because I think this is the ninth year in Atlanta or something like that. Right. But, the traffic is horrendous. Oh, you know, it's a mess. But uh, we were able to kind of like detour and find our own parking, and we just waiting on our group to walk up, which is about another ten or fifteen minutes or so. So uh, right. Once so, we get in, then we'll the party will begin. But yeah. so far, first impressions, this is a lot. Y'all. <laughs> Section lighter. Mm -hmm, looking good. This your boy outfit, sleeveless, 
blazer joint yeah. with a, a with the samurai buckle. I don't know if you can see this but that part, a little buckle joint. Got my tactical zips. Then go down to the pants. Very detailed. You can get the shoes, but these ain't the right shoes. I did these for walking purposes since we had to walk a bit of a distance to kind of get to where we were going. So I didn't want to wear the actual shoes that I purchased, but those are going back because I was going to send them back anyways. But yeah, this your boy, man. You know, you might gotta, gotta throw the links on with it. <clears throat> blanket in your in your beard there you go but yeah if y'all wondering yeah, yeah we've well, been cold all night i knew this was gonna happen but i wanted to make sure that i wore this outfit because i had it for a little bit of time so i wanted to bust it out before it get cold now it's cold and your boy got to go We went back in, y'all saw, they partying hard, but it wasn't our type of party. Yeah. It's more like an older crowd type of party, so we showed our face. You know how folks be saying, we showed our face real quick. Right. We showed our face and then now we walked back to the car. And I mean, to be honest, I'm not going to bash it. I mean, just because we kind of spoke with uh, people from different cities who actually already attended this right. and I mean I'll say this about Atlanta Atlanta is huge for those of y'all that are familiar with Atlanta I will say that the actual event was um, a bit how can I put this like disorganized. <laughs> I'm trying to not say it was not organized but I mean that's probably best word I can use it was not as organized as I would have expected it to be so it was a uh, all white party basically yeah it's called the yeah. neon blanc the neon blanc yeah, yeah so. so it should be ending soon in yeah. at 10 in at 10 yeah, it's a good time yeah thank, thank you, you thank you well this is my key warm right here <laughs> it's cold <laughs> <laughs> um but I'll say that it wasn't as organized as I would have liked for it to be. So, so they had an all white party. That's where the music coming from. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. At the stadium. Yep. 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 Thank you. Um. So it just wasn't very organized. It took when we got off the interstate. We were trying to meet at the meetup location. Oh, you took it off? Yeah. We're trying to meet up at the meetup location that they had informed us of, but we were like in standstill traffic for like 30 minutes, like wasn't moving, could not access the parking lot. So we rolled around to try to find a, basically like a back doorway, found the back doorway. I guess everybody else was looking for a back doorway as well. That was jam packed. So that's what led us to parking at Publix. So fortunately, Publix is right by the venue. So we just parked here and we just walked basically. Um, so because I believe parking was what, like $10? Yeah, parking, parking was $10. $10. So parking for us was zero. Yeah, parking for us um, was F-R-E-E. -E. Okay. F F free, okay. <laughs> F N free, I mean. Um, so the next part was okay, we got out of the car. We decided to walk up to so basically, if you all don't know by now, which you may or may not know, the event was held at the old Brave Stadium, which is now Georgia State's football stadium. Right. Um, so we're basically right here. So we said let's just walk up near the gate. And maybe we'll be able to see 
our table leader walk up, blase blase. So Bay was in contact with the table leader. The table leader uh, was still at the meetup spot where we had been been informed of. So we were waiting probably in front of the stadium for like an hour, hour mm -hmm. and a half, it just a sitting there. Time. And the way the stadium is positioned, it was, uh, you know, how, how most stadiums are is that, you know, overshadow. So it was breezy, chilly and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So it, it was just a lot, y'all. Um, and then we get in. Well, uh, once we get word that our uh, table leader had departed from there, from the area that we were supposed to meet up at, we were by the main entrance that they were letting everybody in. So I guess shortly after our table leader had um, departed, they started to let people in another gate. Y'all know how this finna go. Mm -hmm. Instead of coming through the main gate, which we were standing by, table leader went to the other gate. So now they're already in and we're still outside. Outside. So, and we needed this wristband in order to even get in to the event. So we decided to walk to gate eight at that point. Mm -hmm. Bay uh, was trying to contact the table leader to see if they can bring us the wristbands out. Right. Wasn't responding at first, then finally responded, was able to get our wristbands. Went in, set up, you only have 10 minutes to set your table up. That's a lie. Um, we, took, we took our time. I mean, we weren't, we, t we didn't, we probably did take 10 minutes, but we weren't like rushing to do it. Yeah. So, then, was, oh, go ahead with your part. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Go, go ahead. ahead with your part. So, you then, in chronological order. we setting everything up, you know, um, and now it's time to, you know, we're trying to wait to set the food up until y'all saw the uh, napkin wave. Um, but we probably were in there like, Five minutes and then they did the napkin maybe 10 minutes, 10 minutes i ain't gonna I exaggerate say, yeah. 10 minutes they was doing like some type of acknowledgements first. yeah and then we but we could hear a thing so i don't even know what they was talking about to be honest like, so we was in y'all know at church when you make it on time see here's the thing it's so many people here that we were in the very very back because i guess of how they instructed our table leaders to go in right and so <clears throat> y'all know at church when you get there on time you get a seat in the sanctuary but when you late you we gotta go overflow. to overflow we was in overflow right? yeah we, was we in weren't overflow. even late yeah we yeah. weren't late it's just how they ordered them in yeah. so we were in the overflow room we were like what are they saying what are they saying mm -hmm. so and y'all they was doing the napkin way and people still sitting up at the table yeah so people was yep. eating dinner while folks still trying to set their table. So that's just how long it took to go exactly inside. So yep. it was just it was a lot. It was a lot. So um would I come back? Probably not. So I mean not then saying it was a bad event. If if you are thinking about going to Dene En Blanc, go. Go see for yourself. Dress up, it's fun. I had fun dressing in my all white, trying to figure out what my outfit was gonna look like. I felt like it was cute oh, you with were, my little, you, you know, my little baby. head piece. Thank you, man. And my little bat wings. I mm -hmm. thought I was cute, but you know, and it's just nice to see how everybody wears white, the mm -hmm. different shades of white. Yeah. Uh, there's just so much creativity, even with the table. It was just so much creativity. It was beautiful. Um, but yeah. That's it for me. I think I'd rather be in the warmth in my bed watching Netflix or watching some movie or something. Our neighbors, they, um, <laughs> as soon as they finished eating, they left. Yeah, they did. She was like, baby, I'm finna put this. What she said she was gonna put the chicken in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. So, baby, I'm finna put this chicken in the air fryer. We're finna go home and, and watch, watch Equalizer, Equalizer 3. 3. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, you know what? That don't sound like a bad idea. So, uh, um, we don't have a chicken to put in the air fryer, but we're gonna go watch the people last three and drink some wine. So, um, yeah, so then now it's time to eat the food, food cold. cold. And we had a portable microwave that we warmed the food up on the way here, cold. It was hot so, when, um, yeah, at first, but we was waiting for so long, yeah, that the food had got cold. So, I mean, all in all, you know. It's a cool event, you know. Will we come back? Probably not to the one in Atlanta. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll uh, we were actually it. sitting next to a table, and they had gone to, I think she said, Charleston and another location. Mm -hmm. And they were as large scale as this one, but they were way more organized. So it yeah. just kind of really makes me wonder about Atlanta. So I don't know if we'll go in the near future, but we may give it another chance at a later date. Uh, but I mean, all in all, just mark it off the list. Say we've done it before. We've done so. it. Bucket list, cheap. We've but uh, cheap. wish we could have showed y'all more. So um, yeah, y'all, we about to head out, head back to the crib, catch this hour drive because it took an hour to get here. And uh, man, we'll see y'all in another vlog. So appreciate y'all, and. Uh, we hope to come to y'all very soon, man. So um don't know if we're doing any vlogging series, so don't ask about that because we'll probably <laughs> tell you no. Yeah, we don't know yet. We'll give you some vlogs, but we're not doing no vlogs. But uh, we're definitely going to try to finish this year out strong, though. Yeah, this year has been uh, just a year of just working on family and just trying to build our business and so forth. So I'm not saying that YouTube hasn't been in the priority, but you know this is one of those already established things that we've already done you know that we're proud of so just trying to focus on some other things to kind of build um but we'll definitely be back very soon so y'all we appreciate y'all love y'all from your boy d Thank you. peace and blessings remember work hard stay humble be blessed and in the words of julie chin love one another as one <laughs> another will love themselves <laughs> For any Big Brother fans, I do. Any Big Brother fans, y'all know what I'm talking about.